Corne Alpha, always a pleasure to chat to you. Always a wealth of information on the uh, Western Cape Phillies Championship Day. Corne, thanks for your time. You can go with Zeitz in the first race. This horse has got to be ready to win. Is he really looking for uh, Hollywood Bets Kenilworth compared to the Tata turns at Dermaville? Uh, Ali, yes, definitely. You know, I know a lot of us are a bit, were disappointed in his run last time, including the stable, but you know, he, he did finish his race off really well. I was uh, around the turn, he still dropped a bit with me, you know. I um, thought he would, uh, with the step up in distance, he would uh, travel a little bit better, but you know, he's still a little bit of an inexperienced horse, so give him the benefit of the doubt. We stuck blinkers on him. Um, He's, he's extremely well, and uh, I think with the better draw this time, uh, he's definitely a massive runner. Third ride, or third race even, in the same colours. You ride number five, Hudio, who came back to best. He's always been a bit of a, a difficult horse to gauge, hasn't he? Yeah, Ali, I was super impressed with this horse's run last time, and I was really proud of him because uh, I got um, a little bit, I stuck three wide around the bend for quite a long time until I eventually got into a position. His first run uh, over the 1600. Uh, first run back and um, he stuck his guns down right to the line to run, just just got touched off on the line. Um, he is a horse that's looking for the distance and uh, I think he's, uh, he's doing extremely well at the moment. I, th I think with the nice draw and everything, he's a, he's a, he's, he's a very big runner. And then the fourth race, you ride number five, Riverstone. This for Gareth Vanzel. Had uh, any opportunity to swing by Mildenton and have a, a little feel? No, Ali, uh, to be honest, I don't know much about him. Um, I'm going on Thursday to go uh, throw a Lego and just catch a feel of him, so I, I can't really give you too much about him. Then on to the uh, Lasso Fair Stakes, race number six, where you run number one, Pineappleman Green. Was a fruitful trip to Port Elizabeth for you and Eric uh, when she last ran. Seasonal debut, has she got bigger fish to fry this just to get her back on track? Um, look, I think uh, um, um, Mr. Sands, obviously, this is obviously a first run and to get her back onto track, but uh, he's not going to put her in the race for no reason. Um, I definitely think we got Aldo's horse to beat in that race, Naughty Quest. I mean, her, her, her win last time was, was exceptional, and I think it's just it's better to come from her. This filly won a very good race in PE with me. Um, she quickened really good, and uh, I, you know, you can't leave her out. I think she's definitely got to be a runner. Then onto the Grade 2 Western Cape Phillies Championship, where you run number two polynomial for Greg Enion. She's always looked like she's had something about her. Yes, you've obviously got the Canamayo horse to beat, but there's something bubbling under with polynomial. Do you think she's up to really getting, uh, getting in there and showing her worth here? Definitely, Ali. Uh, you got to respect Mr. Mr. Kadamayo's horse. Um, you know, you go back with this filly's last run. She ran against uh, most of her three-year-old uh, companions, giving them all weight from a very bad draw. Um, I gave her a chance. She made up a lot of ground with the 59 kilos on her back. She's got level weights with the with the girls now again, and, and she's got a better draw. So she she's got to be a, a, a runner in that race. Race number eight, you get on board for Greg Indian again in the former number 11, Rocking Peony. She is what she is. She's got a bit of a difficult draw. Ride for luck? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a little bit, you know, she's got, she hasn't got the best draw. She's, she's not the biggest filly. She's very gutsy, though, but she kind of needs a little bit of a favour. Um, you know, with the bad draw, you're going to have to give her a chance. She's a filly that you can't uh, bounce. She'll, she'll over race. So she's going to have to come from off the pace. And I think it's going to be a bit difficult for her to beat the horses with the good draws. You know, Mr. Indian's got the other filly in there with a the lighter weight, um, family power, if I'm not mistaken, and, uh, and, and a cracker of a draw. So she's got a lot of work to do. And then the last ride, number eight, Arctic Wizard in race number nine. There's also something to like about this horse. His last run in the class four was also full of merit. Do you think we can, uh, do you think there's still better to come from this horse? Yeah, Ali, don't leave this horse out. I've, I've said from day one with Mr. Indian, um, you know, he had one bad run and it was in the, and it was in the mud. Um, try to get Mr. not to run him there, but uh, you know, we couldn't leave him in, in the stables. But um, he, he won very well with me, um, and he ran a phenomenal race out of his, uh, out of his uh, maiden uh, 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 day. And don't leave this horse out. I think there's more to come with this horse. He's a, he's a good looking individual, and he's, a, he's an athletic horse, and I think this is better to come from him. Perfect. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Kone. Thank you very much.